I'm gonna give you the top five exercises that you could do on a Smith machine, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from Garagestrength.com, and if this is your first time to the channel, and you're interested in learning about strength training, you wanna get more explosive, you wanna get the pump, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you get swole. So you go to the gym and every single piece of equipment is packed with people. There's nothing available. You've got nothing that you can do. And there is this little old piece of equipment sitting in the corner and it's the Smith machine. And you're sitting there going, man, I don't, I don't want to go on the Smith machine. That's where all the losers go. That's where everybody goes when they can't do normal free weights, when they can't get on the bench press, when they can't do dumbbell work, when they can't do squat work. But you go over to the Smith machine, you start playing around and you start having a little bit more fun. And that's one of the things that ended up happening. I was fortunate enough, I went down to a hotel in the Dominican Republic. There's almost no weights in the hotel. And all of a sudden I sat there and went, all right, what can I do on this Smith machine? And I played around with it for two straight hours and that's where I came up with these top five exercises to help you get that monster pump on the Smith machine. So that fifth exercise, that fifth best exercise, and this is something that I, when I was playing around with the Smith machine, I realized that if I set up that military press inside of the Smith machine, one, it actually took a little bit of stress off of my shoulders. It wasn't as uncomfortable as it would be if I was playing around with a normal barbell. So my, my shoulders were a little stiff. I had traveled a little, a little bit. I was a little bit sore even from working out at home a couple days prior. And when I got on the Smith machine and I set up that military press, I actually felt a little bit more targeting in my front delt and a little bit more targeting in my upper pec. And that was the one big thing that I noticed with the military press on the Smith machine was that as you're on that track, that upper pec almost started to fill up with blood immediately. I started to get this huge pump in the upper pec in the shoulders and it felt really, really nice and it really loosened me up. And this is something that you could do a little bit higher reps and not get banged up. So when you're at the gym and you wanna play around with the Smith machine, get on there, set up that military press and then you can superset that with upright row. And that's gonna be that fourth key exercise is while I was doing the military press, one of the big things that I ended up doing in between was setting up that upright row. And one of the key factors, a lot of people have some shoulder issues when they're doing a traditional upright row with just a free standing barbell. But when you're doing the upright row with the military press on the Smith machine, you can almost get this little bit of a lean back. And when you're starting to lean back, you start to target a little bit more of the medial delts. And so when you're super saying that little bit of a, of a pull, you get that little bit of a pull, you start to squeeze in the traps, you start to retract your scaps. Now that upper back, that whole upper back yoke, that shelf really starts to fire. And then you get back on the military press and you're hitting that anterior delt along with that upper pec. Now you're getting this huge upper region pump and you start to feel pretty good. It starts to feel fun. It's actually easier. You don't have to worry about what's your buddy doing. Can your buddy spot you? Do you have the weights available? You can really start to bang out some good reps. So hit that military press for five sets of seven to nine and then do a drop set of one set of 20, one set of 25 to get that huge pump. And every set in between, I was doing that upright row for about 20 reps. It's easier to get the volume on the Smith machine because there's less control involved. There's also less working with spotters. You can just take it right out of the rack, pump it out, put it back on the rack, turn around, hit that upright row and get a lot of work done in a short time frame. So I would recommend four to six sets of really, really high reps to get the pump rolling. Now, when I was looking to finish off my workout, I wanted to get just a huge pump in my back, in my upper lats, in my rear delts, and I wanted to feel pretty strong as well. And what I ended up doing was I put together a chest supported row along with the one arm row. And so the reason why I paired these together, typically I would not pair two rows together, but I wanted to use the bench that I was using for the chest supported row as a place to put my knee. So I sat there, I'm like, all right, Let's hit that chest supported row, five sets of 25, just banging out tons and tons of reps. Again, we gotta remember, you're not gonna be worried as much when you're on a chest supported position about your lower back. A lot of guys who tend to do bent over rows, when they're doing their bent over rows, they're actually engaging more of their hamstrings, more of their lower back. 
I wanted to target entirely in my rear delts and my lats. So I had that chest supported position that helped me get a little bit more traction into my targeted areas, into those targeted muscles. And then in between those sets, I would take a little bit of weight off, get on that on the Smith machine and hit that one arm row. And that was another factor that I haven't realized. If you get that knee on the bench and you're a little bit more upright, now we're gonna be doing a one arm row, one that's barbell loaded so you can put a little bit more weight on, Two, it's on the track so it's easier to just rep that and just get it moving. And then three, you're in a position that you can really change your chest. Okay, so when I'm hitting that, I was a little bit more upright, which that's gonna get a little bit more of my traps, a little bit more of my rhomboid. And then I could get back, I could take about a minute rest and get back into that chest supported position, load that weight back on. So one, I was potentiated doing that chest supported row my lats and my rear delts and then two when i wanted to give my lats a little bit more of a break i could get that a little bit more of an upright one arm row position and just hammer through targeting those traps i did five sets of 20 to 25 on the chest supported row five sets of 17 on each arm of that a little bit more of that upright one arm row and that got me a huge freaking pump. Now, before we go into that number one exercise, if your arms are small, you're sick of barely filling out your sleeves, you can't get that pump. You have no idea what you can do to get your arms to grow. Click on the link down below. We've got a whole entire 12 week program, a specific arm targeting program to help you increase the size of your bicep, the size of your tricep and the strength of your entire arm so that you can actually fill out that youth medium and start to feel a little bit stronger. Click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and pick up that specific arm targeting program today. And then that number one exercise for that Smith machine work was bench throws. I've actually played around with this from a sports performance perspective in the past, where we've had shot putters, we've had linemen get on the bench and just start throwing that, that barbell, throwing that Smith machine almost for fun. Okay, and one of the cool things is that because it's on a track, you know exactly where it's returning to. It's a little bit safer than if I was doing a drop bench or a bench throw with a free weight. When it's on the track, it's a little bit easier. One of the things that I liked though, was that as I was executing that bench throw, I could throw it and then I could brace and stop it. And when it, I was stopping the barbell, it was almost like a depth drop. And then as I did that, I did that for about five or six sets. And then the last two sets, I would do bench throws for about five reps and then I'd stop doing the bench throws and then I would just focus on repping out a bench press to get a big pump. A lot of guys are sitting out there going, well, you know, what's the point of, of, of actually throwing it? We want to focus on that full acceleration. When we're focusing on that full acceleration through the lockout, that's going to help target our triceps a little bit more effectively. That's going to help our lockout when we transfer back over to the bench press. Okay, so one of those key factors is it wasn't just about that sports performance perspective. It was also about increasing my bench press performance and just getting that stupid pump and having fun. Okay, so use bench throws, get on there. You know where it's going to be returning to. It's a little bit safer because it's in the Smith machine. That's going to really isolate your pecs as well. That's the one key factor when you're bench pressing on a Smith machine is that it really, really isolates your pecs a lot more than when you're on a traditional bench press. And that's what you're gonna feel that big pump from. And now remember back to that military press position. That really hammered that upper pec position. Now when we're doing the bench throws, your entire pec is really getting a big time blood flow and that's gonna help you feel nice and strong as you leave that Smith machine workout. So do all five of these workouts. And if nothing else, go to the gym today, do one of these exercises. Just do one, go do chest supported row in a Smith machine and do five sets of 25 and you will start to get a huge pump. You can just take one of these exercises and be a little bit more open-minded about that Smith machine workout and you're gonna be happy that you went in, tried it, and you stimulated some serious muscular growth. So if you need any more help with sports performance training or with arm targeting, you can click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up that program today. And if you want any more content about training in unique environments, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.